Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and in Australia, Australia's Weather Bureau got caught in the act of tampering with climate data. Gee, that sounds familiar. I've certainly read enough stories about NASA and NOAA and the letter agencies in this country manipulating data. So let's get started with this. Of course, they deny it. Australian scientists at the Bureau of Meteorology ordered a review of temperature recording instruments after the agent, government agency was caught tampering with the temperature logs in several locations. That's right, they were caught doing it, so they're trying to figure out how to avoid being caught in the future is what this amounts to. Agency officials admit that the problem with instruments recording low temperatures was likely happened in several locations throughout Australia, but they refused to admit manipulating temperature readings. Of course they do. BOM located missing logs in Galern and Snow Mountains, both of which are in New South Wales. Meteorologist Lance Pigeon Watch the 13 degrees Fahrenheit to learn recordings from July 2nd disappear from the Bureau's website. Temperature readings fluctuated briefly and then disappeared from the government's website. Temperature dropped to minus 10, which is 13 degrees Fahrenheit. So they use Celsius. Stayed there for some time and changed to minus 10.4, 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Disappeared, Pigeon said. Added that he notified scientist Jennifer Mar Mero Hansen about the problem with the brought the readings to the attention of the Bureau. The Bureau would later restore the original 13 degrees Fahrenheit reading after brief question and answers session with Mara Rassi. Bureau's quality control system designed to filter out experience low or high values of set minus 10 minimum for learn, which is why the record automatically adjusted. Well, they just admit right there they're admitting to a tampering minute. Bureau spokesman told Monday. Bureau BOM added that their limits placed on how low temperatures could go in some cold areas in the country. Bureau's Chief Executive Andrew Johnson told the Australian Environmental Minister Josh Frydenberg that failure to record the low temperatures that you learned in early July was due to faulty equipment. You, sir, are a liar. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Similar failure wiped down the reading of 13 degrees Fahrenheit. Rebel top on July 16, even though the temperatures at that station have been recorded as low as 5.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Failure to observe the low temperatures has been interpreted by a number of the community in such ways to imply the Bureau sought to manipulate the data record. Johnson said, I can't ignore it. Reject this implication. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. Person, because you're a liar. Morassi, for a part, told Forrest that Johnson's claims are nearly impossible to believe, given that their screenshots are showing very low temperatures when they're being quality churred out. It could take several weeks before the equipment is eventually tested and reviewed ready for service, Johnson said. Now, we've seen, I ain't gonna say this again, we've seen this with NOAA and NASA, and they do this regularly in this country. Must be the Australians are better at covering the stuff up than we are. I guess if I was, uh, Jim Quinn, I'd hear the woo, 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 insensitivity, insensitivity. Yeah, I am insensitive. Actually, I'm incensed.
that this would happen. They're only allowing numbers that they want to see is what it amounts to. It's like uh, Tim McGraw said in a song, even though it's about a different subject, Welcome to the club, Australians. You've just been caught. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.